you mentioned a number of things that I'd like to get back to anthropic reasoning, eternal inflation, string theory, the, yeah. the cosmological constant. Right. But I think that where we should start is with the fine tuning problem itself yeah. and just getting a feel for some of these free parameters in the standard yeah. model and how, if they were different, our universe might be quite different. Good. Okay, so let's start with the cosmological constant since that's the most fine tuned one and um, it's a very, very basic constant of nature, or at least of our environment. Um, in, in many respects, it is like this question of the density of your submarine. But what it actually is, is the value of the dark. I will assume the listener knows enough to know that there's this idea of dark energy. It has a magnitude. It's an energy density. It has units of an energy density. There are other quantities in physics which also have units of energy density, the most basic of which is the Planck energy density. The Planck energy density is the energy density uh, of the horizon of a black hole, if you like. That's what it corresponds to. How big is it? It's an enormous number. Uh, the energy per unit area on the horizon is some of a black hole is 10 to the 50th, 10 to the 70th, whatever. So this Planck energy density, which is a natural parameter in physics, it comes into string theory, it comes into gravity, and it's probably the most basic quantity that we know about, is huge. The cosmological constant, which is another constant with the same units, is tiny, 10 to the minus 120 in those same units. How did that happen? Why is the cosmological constant so much smaller than the other natural units of physics? And we don't know. Um, we don't have a theory of it which explains why it's true. What we do have is a string theory which seems to tell us that it could be many, many different values. The other puzzle about the cosmological constant well, I, I think that's the basic puzzle. It could just be any number of different values uh, with very tiny spacings between them. And we don't know why nature picked the one which allows the universe to evolve as it does. So um, the cosmological constant is probably the most critically fine-tuned thing that we know about. And unless we accept this idea of anthropic reasoning, a big landscape, we have no idea why it, uh, none whatever, why it is what it is. And what it is is necessary for our own existence. <laughs>